so hey guys welcome back to miss love uh this is part three of my i guess <laughs> kind of first impression of my attempt of <laughs> doing the let's play but it's not gonna work because i have no space but we are getting right into it i didn't return to the office as planned Instead, I got into the car and headed to the Bioscience Research Center. Oh, so that's how I ended up meeting him. I even forgot that. That corner of the road turned out to be the, from Uncle John. John? John? <laughs> He's a bio professor at Loveland University and helped Miracle Finder many times as a guest ex expert. He's out of the country right now, but he called to introduce another neuroscience professor to be our guest. This science, how did he find out? I guess my agent stroke secretary stroke friend, I don't know what she is, and told him. This secret works, he's a secret. This scientist works in a research center and is also a professor at Loveland University. The whole point of Miracle Finder was to find superhumans and discover the science behind their power. Hopefully this neuroscience expert will help me finish the last show. I grasp at this role, however unreliable it may seem. Subconsciously, I felt this trip might change the fact, the fate of Love Black Company. Change my fate even. Lucien, <laughs> again, I don't know if I'm saying his name right. Bioscience bio research. There's, that's a tongue twister. Lucien Bioscience Research Center. <laughs> if reception was right, Professor Lucien. Eh, hey, Luz, hey, his name. Lucio, Lu, Lucien works in this lab. <laughs> again, sorry if I'm not saying his name right. Having a research center. Uh, named after himself, he must be a very senior professor. Oh boy, ain't I wrong. I'll have to be on my best behavior. Just when I was going to knock, the door was pushed open and a young researcher walked out. Shorting me, he seemed to be surprised, but then he regained composure and nodded with a smile. He looked at me kindly but remotely like he was inspecting a strange new being. Oh my god, I'm already struggling. The way he watched me made me a little uneasy. Hello, I'm looking for Professor Lucian. Hearing the words, the young researcher seemed to be a little surprised. Lucian, what do you want with him? I'm a producer from Love Black Company. Here is my card. I wanted to invite the professor to be our guest on the show Miracle Finder. Miracle Finder? Oh, I've heard of that. Why do you want Mr. Lucian on your show? Well, Professor John recommended. <laughs> he interrupted me. I've seen your recent shows. Your choice of topics is somewhat problematic. Oh, is it? It's like this guy isn't going to introduce me to Lucian. He really has an axe to grind up out our show. I tried not to show anger. Thanks for your advi advice. Perhaps you don't know our show that well. I got a number from a professor. <laughs> <laughs> the fuck that she said this. <laughs> I got a number from Professor John. I think I will call him myself. Oh my god, saying that is so weird. Saying that name. There's just some names that are so common. It's very weird when they're in games. Because <laughs> my uncle is... Uncle John, it's weird. When I found the number Uncle John, it's, it's her uncle too. What a coincidence. I didn't even think of that. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, so our uncles, anyways. When I found the number Uncle John gave me and tapped the call button, a girl in a white in white walked over. Hello, Professor Lucian. The young researcher nodded with a smile. The girls kept happily away, but I was frozen in place. Then the ring of the phone came from the lab coat pocket. I hung up the call and looked up. The young genius professor was still smiling, but I felt I had become even happy had become even happier. Would you like to talk inside my office? Well, do I have a choice now? Hmm, I just embarrassed myself in front of you. How do you think I feel? <laughs> oh my god! There was an event like this. 
I would have gotten that card. Oh my god. This is the bad thing about pre-recording and not knowing what you're doing in a game. I would have gotten this card. But I just didn't play the game at that time. Well, hmm, it's bad to look back in time. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I started getting serious when I got, I don't know, one of those Victor, Victor, Victor's cards. This is, this, oh no, this is Lucien. I confuse the two of them sometimes if, if the angle is not right. This one everyone gets at least. Lucien's office. Professor Lucien, I never imagined you would be so young. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I annoyingly made a mental note. Never judge people by their appearance. It's all right. I didn't introduce myself. Thanks. So let me tell you about the plan of the latest show of Miracle Finder. Yes, please. You can use my blackboard if you like. This feels so sus to me right now. I don't know how to comment on this. It's like I want to say something, but I'm not sure how to process it. So he says that about my show, but okay, maybe he just wants to hear me out. Let me just, let me, let me just play this. Sure. <laughs> I looked at deep, I took a deep breath. Uh, oh my God. You know, I'm seeing from so far. So if I'm reading the wrong things once, my dyslexic and two, I cannot, I can barely see. <sighs> just as I've taken a deep breath right now. <laughs> <laughs> I said, I said, sorry, the introduction. For our final show, the theme uh, we are going with is lies that can be seen through. Lies that can be seen through. I'm right? sorry, but I think this plan is not feasible. Why do you say that? What? I haven't even begun yet. I viewed the files you gave me. Oh, but didn't you just glance at them? Lucian seemingly very smug laughed out loud. I swear, I have to. My brain is like, don't confuse this with tears of famous. Don't confuse this with tears of famous. Because I'm just like, I'm like, I, it's annoying. Because like, they are very parallel. They have similar ish characters, but at the same time, not really. Again, I've said this in my rant thing, so I'm not gonna elaborate on it. But he reminds me of Vine. Vine? Vine? I think it's how you say his name. Not that he reminds me, but that the same same pro profession kind of. It's nothing. Let me explain the details. He walked over to the blackboard, very close to me. I felt a little nervous. So, what's your view of superpowers? What did I choose? Oh, I don't believe in them. I think superpowers are fake, and we could find out the truth behind them. Similar to what your father did? Yeah, my father always taught me to view the world through a lens of science. Have you heard of the Red Queen hypothesis? Ah, uh, what is that? No. Like I said. <laughs> now here, you see. It takes all the running you can do to keep in the same place. Huh? Is that quote from Alice through the looking for glass? Humans have existed outside of natural selection for too long. They have forgotten how cruel the world is. What do you mean forgotten? Right now we are literally going through a re recession. <laughs> Oh my god, I uh, I don't even want to talk about it. It sounds weird, but true. In nature, humans have no more threats. But it's dangerous when you forget to fear. Do you know the way to avoid danger? Well, just don't leave the house. <laughs> Is there a way? I hate this. I am pretty sure it's because my internet sucks. But it's so annoying how sometimes this, this images don't load. Suddenly, Lucian drew closer. I stepped back and involuntarily leaned against the blackboard. With one hand on the board, he drew in very close. The sunlight backlit and obscured his face. My heart beat like crazy. When you're in danger. He leaned in even closer to my ear and whispered. Trust your instincts. Like, what is this? What is this? What is going on right now? Well, I was still wondering what all that meant. This mysterious neuroscientist let me go. Sorry. I didn't want any other people to overhear those words. Well, it's no secret. So, you're just making an excuse, boy. I think I was saying something here, because like... <laughs> two of us in this room like bitch make it make sense what you cannot see isn't necessarily non-existent like a oh do you mean freaking in gavin in the roof <laughs> oh, okay i got it back to your show since its subject is superpowers you should have your own thoughts on the matter 
However, your view on superpowers is still framed by your well, father's views. Well, how do you views. know that? Am I right? How do you know that? My father builds Miracle Finder with his own hands, piece by piece. Every show reflects the character, the color of its producer. However, I don't see any of your color in this. This is still the same episode plan as two years ago. very special. Unlike any other. At least to my eyes. I really, I do love this concept. Yeah, he got low there for a second. I could not hear him. But like, I do like this concept of color. Like, I'm so curious what color I am. <laughs> I think it's an interesting idea. It's making me think of a game that I have to watch. I'm starting to understand. Thank you, Professor Lucian. Lucian raised his eyebrows in slight annoyance. Are you leaving? Yes, I have to return to prepare the show with my colleagues. Should I have lectured a little longer just then? And why? Huh? It's fine. You can go now. Yeah, this guy though. I just don't trust him. Like, I just don't like people who are overly too nice. <laughs> Professor Lucian, will you attend our last show? Uh, sorry, I meant after I finish our new show plan. I will come back and... Alright, I'm in. Okay, huh? W wait, what? Lucian smiled and patted my head. Oh my god. I'm in. I hope I won't be disappointed. Like, in the perspective of that, I'm meeting you for the first time and you're treating me like this. It's like, what the hell? I know like, he probably knows me or something, but I'm just like... Great, thank you, Professor. Next time we meet, you can just call me Lucian. I'm like personal space. I nodded shyly, then left his office. God. Oh, let me let me say this real quick. I do not miss this background. Like, I have changed my background to like, of course, a guy. But like, it was so glitchy. Like, you can see how I'm literally struggling to click that shit. Though sometimes it will refuse to click. So I really like I like the layout of where you you have a certain person there it's really it's it's better it's better than that stupid tree okay so right here we're just looking at memories i find this mem i mean my mo moments i found this mo this moment interesting because like it's it's a little cute extra thing that i do with other people i guess the guys they like how other people used to comment at what i'm saying like how basically in the whole thing it's it's interesting it's again a game my old me wouldn't believe exists right now but like games like this have evolved so much that it's like again i've said all this i think at the end so i mean at my whole rant so my god it was last year okay i have to say it was during november so black friday was still there oh my gosh <laughs> It's like walking into a time capsule and looking at all the things that I missed out on. Like legit, I started playing this game in May. Even though I opened the game in November. <laughs> like look at all of these things I missed out on. I legit missed out on a card. I missed out on the logins. Like even if I just logged in. Like that was the whole plan. I was just meant to log in. But again, like if a game doesn't give me motivation... Uh, we're gonna have a problem, y'all. We're gonna have a problem. <laughs>